Today in this video, we will show, is it possible that Connor is leading us all by the nose? And he's simply not going to fight in MMA, preferring boxing's huge money. And everyone who wants to meet him in the octagon is just wasting their time. One of the most respected referees in the world, as well as commentator and analyst John McCarthy, does not consider it a good idea to move UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman to the light heavyweight division. According to a study, the most liked fighter in the social environment is the reigning UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya. And at the end of the video, we will show you Jan Blahovic is ready to go down to middleweight for a rematch with Israel Adesanya. The other day, McGregor returned to action and it doesn't matter that he lost his champion status a long time ago, but because of the already existing popularity, McGregor will last for many more years. He remains the most coveted opponent for mixed martial arts star. Absolutely everyone dreams of fighting the outrageous Irishman because the fight with Notorious automatically brings a huge paycheck and a world fame. Uncrowned UFC lightweight champion Charles Oliveira calls Connor the most preferred opponent. He is echoed by Justin Gagey, Michael Chandler, Jorge Masvidal, and other superstars. There is nothing to say about fighters of a lower rank. The name of the Irishman is mentioned by them in almost every interview. H.O. McGregor spends a lot of time on his yacht. The Irishman know that a ship worth more than $3 million is a great place to relax beauty, speed, and maximum comfort. And if the Irishman is really determined to return to the UFC, he will definitely answer the information about the $157 million deal that Floyd Mayweather is offering McGregor for a rematch. Is it possible that Connor is corny, leading us all by the nose? And he is simply not going to fight in MMA, preferring boxing's huge money. And everyone who wants to meet him in the octagon is just wasting their time. But what was not said, he insists that he will return soon. Boxing is my first love in the martial arts, and I had a great time the last time I went into the ring, but my return will be in the UFC octagon. My history in mixed martial arts is far from over. In fact, it is only being written. This is just the beginning. I will return to MMA, but the boxing ring is in the future. The Irishman recently told Sky Sports, but the latest news of his return and a statement from his coach John Kavanaugh gives hopes that he is serious about making a comeback. About this in an interview with The Mac Life, Kavanaugh recalls how Connor unexpectedly entered the hall and everyone was delighted with surprise. He said, His appearance was a complete surprise and inspired the entire hall. We were just having a jiu-jitsu class, amateurs and ordinary citizens who started training quite recently and then suddenly Connor comes in. Of course, everyone was immediately inspired, because everyone feels his energy. It was great to see how his presence affected the young guys, said Kavanaugh. In addition, in a recent interview, UFC President Dana White announced that Conor McGregor will return to the octagon at the end of the year or early next year, so it's not all about reliability that they didn't talk about him. One thing I know for sure is that millions of fans will be waiting for his return. According to a study conducted on the most popular social networks using social monitoring tools, the Irishman ranked first in the list of the most hated UFC fighters with a score of 29.31% of negative mentions. At the same time, positive references to McGregor accounts for 44.6%. In other words, McGregor has more fans than haters. According to the same study, the most loved fighter in the social environment is the reigning UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya. He was followed by former UFC flyweight title holder Brandon Moreno, with Conor McGregor coming in third. Yes, it's all clear Conor returned to the hall and what's next? He even wanted a fight with Kamaru Usman, who only laughed in response. But that's not funny at all! compared to the fact that Usman himself rises not to the middle but immediately to the heavy division. Now we are completely focused on Leon Edwards, but after that, we are focused on light heavyweight and whether it is Yuri Prohaska, Jan Blahovic, or someone else, that's what we want. Usman told TMZ Sport, I want to prove to the whole world that I am the best fighter for a reason regardless of the weight category. In fact, that I lead the P4P rankings means that at any moment I can fight with anyone and not only keep my own but also win. I want to prove it. Usman told TMZ Sport, one of the most respected referees in the world, as well as commentator and analyst John McCarthy, does not consider it a good idea to move UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman to fight light heavyweight division. I don't want to see him do it. I like Kamaru Usman. 
I'm sure Usman is a phenomenal fighter, I think that 77 kg is a great weight category for him. And 92 kg is too much. The guy has a great gas tank. He fights great. His stance has become really good. He is a phenomenal MMA fighter and he is the king of his division. Stay king. Don't move up light heavyweight. Crazy. Don't do it. McCarthy said. Former UFC light heavyweight champion Jan Blahovic shared his take on how Kamaru Usman would perform in the light heavyweight division. He's a big guy, so who knows, maybe he'll move up to light heavyweight. If Yuri doesn't want to fight me, then I'm ready to fight Usman. Of course, he has a chance to succeed at light heavyweight, but not against me. If he fights me, he will lose, Blahovic told the MMA Hour. And himself, Jan Blahovic is ready to go down to middleweight for a rematch with Israel Adesanya. The Polish fighter announced this in the next issue of the MMA Hour program. Perhaps I will lose weight and give him revenge in his weight class. Why not? Blachowicz said. Fight with Izzy for the title. If a championship belt is on the line, I can try. When I compared an amateur Muay Thai, I weighed it 91 kg, which is about 202 to 203 pounds, something like that. Yes, the middleweight race will be hard, but for the sake of the title, I'm ready to make sacrifices. But I have to start doing it right now to fight at the end of the year. Yes, I would definitely do it. Why not? Unfortunately for the Polish fighter, the middleweight already has a number one contender, which is the Brazilian Alex Pereira, who has two victories over Adesanya in kickboxing fights. So that's all for today. And if you liked the video, don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel because it helps the channel grow.